2x plus 5 equals 13 is an example of a linear equation in one variable. It's linear as the degree of the polynomial is 1 and if you plot the graph of this equation, you will get a straight line. If it was 2x plus 5y, you would call it a linear equation in two variables. Anyway, how do we solve such equations? Generally, there are two ways in which you can get to the value of x. In this example, for instance, some would first subtract 5 from both sides. That would give us 2x plus 5 minus 5 equals 13 minus 5. 5 cancels out on the left and we are left with 2x equals 8. Dividing both sides by 2, we get the value of x as 4. So first, we eliminated the 5 and then the 2. Though it was a very logical way to go about it, it may prove to be a bit lengthy for your competitive exams. The transpose method gets you to the answer a bit faster. To have just x on the left hand side, we first transpose 5 to the other side. Plus, when transposed to the other side, becomes a minus. Transposing 5 to the other side gives us 2x equals 13 minus 5. And 13 minus 5 is 8. To eliminate the 2, we need to transpose it to the other side. We get x is equal to 8 by 2, which is 4. If you look at them closely, both methods are actually the same. Just that the transpose method saves you some time. If you wish to get a deeper understanding of solving linear equations, do have a look at our background tutorials based on it. Meanwhile, let's try solving a couple of linear equations. How do we solve for the value of y? As we need just y on the left hand side, let's transpose 7 to the other side first. We get y by 5 as 12 minus 7 which is 5. Now transposing this 5 in the denominator to the right hand side, we get the value of y as 5 times 5, 25. Pause the video and try solving the second example on your own. As we need to find the value of a, let's try getting all terms with a on the left hand side and we can simultaneously transpose 6 to the other side. We get 2a minus a over 2 on the left hand side and 6 when transposed to the right becomes minus 6. 2a minus a over 2 gives us 3a over 2. Transposing 3 and 2 to the right, we get the value of a as minus 4. So solving linear equations is easy and using the transpose method gets you to the answer quicker.